What's up, gamers? It's Cooper here. We're with Disney Interactive. I'm with John Vignacchi, right? Vignacchi. Vignacchi. I'm sorry, that's a tough one. What's your my uh, Italian name already? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Irish. You know, my name gets Richard all the time. So we're checking out Tron, and this is a prequel to the to the movie. Yeah, absolutely. So um, today at PAX, we're actually we've got Tron Evolution here all weekend. Tron is a prequel. Um, Tron Evolution is actually a prequel. It bridges the gap between the 1982 film and Tron Legacy, the new film coming out December 17th from Disney. So um, it's actually really interesting because what we're doing with Tron is that the Nintendo DS, um, the, the PSP, the Wii, and Next Gen all have unique storylines that really bridge the gap between everything you see in the 1982 film and what, what the world is that you see when you reintroduce the world of Tron uh, with Tron Legacy on December 17th. So, so you'd say each one is going to have a pretty unique story. Absolutely. Um, What's going to happen with the gamer who can't really go and get all three? Well, it's actually, it's up to you whether or not, how big of a Tron head you are, you know? So if you're a big fan of the DS, you like Tron on the go, that has a unique story that tells about kind of the more the utopian era of the Tron world, moving into the dystopian era that you see in Next Gen until it's completely crumbled in Legacy. So for the gamer that really is into Tron, he's going to have to get all games to check it out and really get a full understanding of what happened to Kevin Flynn's system between 1982 and the new film. And each game also has its own content, right? So it's not the same game over. It's not the oh, same no. game with a different story. It's completely designed for platform. Yeah, absolutely. So our our next gen game for uh, PlayStation 3, Xbox 3. I shouldn't call it next gen, right? I should say <laughs> this gen. Our, our current gen, <laughs> right? Uh, our Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC actually is uh, focused a lot on uh, vehicles as well as high mobility. So we have the ability to um, not only get into light cycles and run around and do that. You've got tanks in the game. You also have the ability to upgrade your character. The Nintendo Wii version of the game actually focuses more on the grid games, more of kind of the sport era of uh, of the Tron system. So Crazy highlight. Yeah, you'll see you'll see lots of different stuff, stuff from even from the original arcade, kind of uh, new versions of that stuff. It's just tons of fun to play. Um, DS is a lot more adventure, and uh, PSP also focuses on vehicles and whatnot. So definitely a unique experience. Wow, so it sounds like three drastically different games. Is Are there three devs working, like yes. separate devs on each? Yeah, so we have uh, our great talented team down at uh, N-Space that got, uh, did the Nintendo Wii as well as the Nintendo DS version. Supervillain Studios did the PlayStation Portable version. And then the Next Gen and PC were done by Propaganda Games up in Vancouver, our internal development studio at Disney. Early in the game, we, we teach all the visual communication of the world, which is um, something that's been very interesting for us because this Tron world is so new and so unknown to so many different people. So uh, in this particular area, we're, we're running and we're jumping. We have to time our jumps here to get through. Very uh, mirrors edgy using like parkour moves. Yeah, so that's interesting that you bring that up. It's one of the most important things for us is that um, you know basically the the mobility sections of the game uh, are kind of derived from parkour, but we also mix in uh, capoeira. Uh, in terms of our combat, which you'll see right now. So, Isn't that like Brazilian martial arts or something? No, that's... Yeah, it is, actually. You're right. Um, Brazilian breakdancing. Uh, oh, right. Kidding, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, capoeira, though, uh, is, is one of our things that re we really, really use to, as an idea for us to how are we going to make combat different. And you'll actually see that in the film as well. Something that's really great for us as developers is that we got to go you know, to the film set several times. We actually worked with the writers. They blessed the script. Everything that's in every single version of the game is real true canon to the Tron universe. So Disney's going full blown all. Full blown transmedia play for Disney as a company and that's what's really exciting to be kind of on the ground level, being able to work with the guys in the film studio you know, explain to them the, the, the challenges that we have making games and also get an idea from them the challenge they have making films and how we can really weave these worlds in between each other. I mean, it's, it's a great experience for, for devs because, you know, for the first time, not only do you get to create something that's going to appear in a film and be inspired by a film, but also at the same time, you know, the guys that are, that are a part of this are just getting to reboot something so amazing, Tron, you know? Actually, it's probably half of them grew up on it. I know, it's like totally <laughs> me. I was like, I'm so excited to work on this. Sorry, I mean, um, so this yeah. is the, I remember this is the first movie my dad was like, you have to watch this, I, it's so cool. I, I totally remember it too, yeah, my father, uh, that was a young guy, he's like, I, I was, geez, young, five years old or so. My father's like, you have to see this, it's so amazing. And so, can't uh, even walk yet. <laughs> yeah, I can't even walk, right? <laughs> yeah. 
Um, but it's fun. We're doing lots of cool stuff. I mean, you know, Patrick's got right here. If you want to check this out, we've got the controllers too. So um, these are actually done by BDP. They're amazing. Is that going to be part of your uh, collector's edition? Uh, no, actually, we just announced our collector's edition. These will be available day and date with the game, which is November 26th in the UK, and it's going to be December 7th um, in the States. Uh, they will be available day and date when the game is released, but our collector's edition is actually designed by Sideshow Collectibles, which uh, I don't know if you know them, but they, they do amazing work. Anyone that's a collectible fan obviously knows what I'm talking about. So um, we're doing a super limited run of them, um, but they are going to come with their own light cycle. Uh, the light cycle will light up. The light cycle outside. Yeah. The little one over there. I haven't seen the one actually that's here, but I've got to hold the resin mold of the one at the studio several times. I'm like, this is sweet. And it has a cool stand. And the stand you can actually open up. It has a drawer to put your copy of the game in. So it's definitely something uh, super cool. So you said it was November? November um, 26 in the UK and December 7th in the States. December 7th in the States. So we got three drastically different experiences, different stories for DS, all different Wii, kinds of gamers, yeah. and next gen and PC. Awesome. Thanks a lot, John. Cool. Thank you.